Archaeologists, scientists, and theorists often go hunting for incredible things, and often, in fact, more than not, they succeed. But in actuality, some of the most incredible discoveries were found not by intention, but by total accident. These are some of the most amazing discoveries found by complete accident. Number 15. 500-Year-Old Boat it's not every day that a 500-year-old boat is recovered from a otherwise unspectacular pond, but it can happen, and this footage from Poland proves it. Although we should add up front, please don't try and embark on an epic adventure in a 500-year-old boat. You will sink. Thank you. The wooden shipwreck was recovered from an old riverbed in Poland. With the wood dated all the way back, two trees felled sometime between 1478 and 1481. The ship was estimated to measure somewhere around 24 to 26 feet long, making it one of the longest boats to be discovered in a Polish pond. Admittedly, although, that's a pretty niche category. After an in-depth investigation, experts concluded that the ship was likely a cargo boat, used to transport up to 90 tons of onboard materials. So I guess Amazon Prime isn't all that impressive now, right? It's hard to surprise an archaeologist. These experts are trained to look for the unexpected. There's probably nothing you could discover that would shock them. Well, maybe a four-headed unicorn with tentacles, but... I'm not ready to share that with the world just yet. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for a juicy topic. This photo has been doing the internet rounds for some time now, but every time we see it, it blows our minds all over again. The team were not looking for something like this at all and stumbled upon it totally by accident. Found buried deep in the earth at an archaeology dig, it seems to be a phone. In particular, it resembles an old-school Nokia. The odd thing is that it was buried so deep it had to have been there for thousands of years, let alone decades. The current estimate is that it is about 5,000 years old. And even weirder, the symbols on the keypad don't seem to be of any language known on Earth. The combination of the peculiar unknown language and the fact that it was buried so deep in the ground for so very long has led to many people speculating this phone belonged to an ancient alien race who visited Earth. But others think it's a very, very elaborate prank. What do you Think. Do you believe that aliens are real? Did they have phones 5,000 years ago? And did they visit Earth? Was this phone abandoned here on purpose, or was it a huge mistake? What do you think? What do you believe? Remember to comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic, and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. And now, to the next topic. Number 14. World's Largest Pearl People just love to be better than others, don't they? It's always world's biggest wheel, world's best glass, world's most exclusive collection of first-run Powerpuff Girls merchandise, etc. But when Philippine officials claimed to have recovered the world's biggest natural giant clam pearl, they may have had a good point. The pearl in question weighed almost 75 pounds and was initially found by a fisherman who didn't really stop to think about its value. Instead of handing it over to an expert or somebody who just really loved pearls, he decided to keep it as a good luck charm, which isn't a terrible idea. Eventually, he brought it to the experts, who appraised it and ultimately determined that it was heavier than the current world record, a 14-pounder. That's not just beating the world record, but completely demolishing it. The pearl was later passed on to an expert gemologist tasked with confirming the new record. Today, the Pearl of Puerto, as it's known, is indeed the largest known natural pearl in the world and has been valued at an estimated 100 million. That's a lot of clams. And also the best joke of this video. It's all going downhill from here, folks. Number 13. 706 Carat Diamond what? You thought the 24 carats was the epitome of class? Please. 24 carat jewelry is for the real housewives of, I don't know, Pope Joy, Iowa? 706 carat diamonds, meanwhile, are for lucky pastors from Sierra Leone. Pretty much takes all of us out of the running, then. 
Anybody know any single housewives in Pope Joy, Iowa? The 706 carat diamond was discovered by Pastor Emmanuel Momo in Sierra Leone, who happened to be independently searching for diamonds. When he found this whopper, he made the honorable choice, handing it over to the government and presenting it to the president, Dr. Ernest Baikorama, who agreed to allow his government to sell the stone. What's the value of clean water? That's the value. Because he had a diamond mining permit, the pastor was entitled to a cut of the profit without paying taxes. Talk about living the dream. The 706 carat diamond is now known as the second largest ever to be found in the country. After the sale went through, the government made 6.5 million, which seems kinda low. I mean, there have been 24 carat diamonds sold for over 70 million in the United States. Those housewives in Pope Joy, Iowa would have sold their house for it. Number 12. The Rosetta Stone Long before the days of Duolingo, people had to learn new languages, the old-fashioned way, translating them using an obscure old rock known as the Rosetta Stone. But the discovery of this game-changing rock was a complete and total accident. Back during his reign, Napoleon invaded Egypt to seize its cultural artifacts for display in France. While most of his soldiers found the unusual culture treasures, one of them found something completely inexplicable near the town of Rosetta, a black basalt slab inscribed with ancient writing. That writing turned out to be three identical passages written in three scripts, Greek, Egyptian hieroglyphics, and Egyptian Demotic. That stone turned out to be the long-lost key to unlocking the Riddle of the Hieroglyphics, a language dead for over 2,000 years. Napoleon's plan was pretty horrific and selfish, but this discovery completely changed the game for all future development. The Demotic, that's a cursive ancient Egyptian script. Without the Rosetta Stone, the world would never have fully understood or appreciated the art and complexity of Egyptian hieroglyphics. We would have just continued to read it as foot, noose thing, noose thing, foot, unfinished paperclip. Actually, that's not a million miles away from how I read things now. Number 11. Chinese Bull Possibly the most essential life lesson you'll ever learn is this. Anything you buy at a garage sale is probably going to be immensely valuable. For instance, this Chinese bowl, which was purchased at a garage sale for $3. But its actual value? Well, it ain't $3. When the unnamed family bought the bowl at a New York garage sale, they were obviously completely clueless about its origins. After keeping it on the mantelpiece for years, the family decided it was time to part with their cheap Chinese bowl. But when they met with experts, they were shocked to discover just how valuable it was. Chinese is one of the hardest fields to appraise. The experts estimated that it would sell for somewhere between $200,000 and $300,000. But even that turned out to be an inaccurate estimate. When it was put up for auction in New York City, a London dealer paid $2,225,000 for it. That's a hell of a return on investment. According to Sotheby's, there's only one other bowl of the same form, size, and decoration. That bowl has been sitting in the British Museum for over 60 years. So I guess the moral of the story is, by everything vaguely old looking, you could be sitting on a gold mine, or just a very cheap bowl. Either way you win. Number 10. Atari Video Game Burial it's every video game nerd's dream, accidentally finding a buried trove of unsold video game cartridges, consoles, and computers. Unfortunately for the mainstream fans hoping for PlayStation goodies, the items in question were buried in 1983 by Atari. So I can't make the Uncharted joke I had all lined up. Sucks to be me. For many years, rumors circulated over what could possibly have been buried by Atari. The most prevalent story claimed that the company buried unsold copies of E.T. The Extraterrestrial, famously one of the worst video games ever made and a huge commercial flop. Others believed that the burial didn't even exist, leading to a long period of conflicting and confusing rumors with seemingly no answers in sight. In 2014, the site was excavated for a documentary, revealing that Atari did discard games and hardware in a burial. 
The documentary planned to recover the buried items and place them in a specially designed museum to commemorate the treasure trove. That's right, there was very almost an Atari burial museum. And who doesn't want to see some abandoned E.T. the extraterrestrial cartridges on display? Number 9. Rare Superman Comic when it comes to auctions, everybody knows that nothing sells half as well as old comics. For whatever reason, these classic superhero adventures just seem to get more and more valuable with time. And there may be no superhero more valuable than Superman. In 2013, while re-insulating the wall of his home, a Minnesota contractor found a 75-year-old comic book featuring Superman's debut. How about that for luck? When he took it to an expert, the comic was estimated to sell for around $100,000 due to its rareness. According to the best estimate, there are only around 100 remaining copies of the original 250,000. Rare copy of Action Comics number one to their collections. But as is often the case with Superman, the experts completely underestimated just how impressive this comic would be. At the auction, Superman's debut sold for $175,000, presumably to a comic book fan with an insane bank account. The lesson is pretty straightforward. If you find a comic book hiding among the insulation in your house walls, get it appraised. Chances are people will always pay more than whatever the experts tell you, and that is the Superman promise given by somebody who has no idea what they're talking about. Number 8. Dead Sea Scrolls when you're rooting through a cave in the Judation Desert, the last thing on your mind is, man, I wish I could find some ancient Jewish religious manuscripts. I'm no cave expert, but if that is what's going on in your mind, imagine the surprise of finding the Dead Sea Scrolls. In 1946, Bedouin shepherd Muhammad Adadib and his cousin discovered seven scrolls, each contained inside a cave. A cave that, by the way, Adadib fell into. Talk about an accidental discovery. The group took the scrolls to a local dealer who refused to sell them because the find was worthless. Eventually, in 1947, the scrolls finally reached the American schools of oriental research where a doctor noticed a similarity between the scrolls and the Nash papyrus, the then oldest biblical manuscript. The rest, as they say, is history. Today, the scrolls are known as incredibly important significant artifacts in the Jewish religion. And all this because one guy fell into a cave. If I fell into a cave, you know what I'd discover? Me neither, because I stay away from caves for this exact reason. Number 7. Stolen de Kooning Painting Art thief is probably one of the oldest professions in the world. Since the dawn of man, people have been going above and beyond to secure the world's most beloved art in the most underhanded means. And apparently some of us may even have it in our own home. When his aunt and uncle died, a Houston man was tasked with taking care of their affairs. But after selling off the couple's belongings to an antique dealer, he was shocked to receive a call from the FBI. The agency was inquiring about a painting that hung behind his aunt's door. Like crossing the street, you want to cross the street fast, so you, you're in. Woman Ochre. According to the agency, the painting was an authentic Willem de Kooning stolen in a daring heist in 1985. And according to experts, it was well worth an unbelievable 160 million. Yep, 160 million was hanging on the back of a door for years, and nobody knew it. Or alternatively, perhaps the aunt and uncle knew all about it because they were the thieves. How about that? For legal reasons, we should add that they definitely were not the thieves and the family has never been involved with any crimes or lawbreaking. But come on, wouldn't it be a twist? Number 6. Terracotta Army Easily one of the most famous accidental discoveries in history, the Terracotta Army was also one of the biggest. While we can all find a couple of bucks hiding beneath the couch cushions, it's not every day you find hundreds of carefully crafted statues underground. 
The Terracotta Army was uncovered on the 29th of March, 1974, by a group of local farmers digging a water well in Shanxi, China, hidden beneath the surface of the land. The farmers discovered thousands of individually carved statues. In 2007, it was estimated that there were over 8,000 soldiers, 130 chariots, with 520 horses, 150 cavalry horses, and a whole bunch of non-military figures. Not a bad find. The statues are believed to depict the armies of Jin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China, and date all the way back to the late 3rd century BCE. And they were buried with the emperor so he would be protected in the afterlife. The Terracotta Army is now hosted in the mausoleum of the first Jin Emperor and available for tourists to visit. They are occasionally displayed worldwide, which makes them one of the only armies to be willingly welcomed into other countries. It's the Terracotta Army and the Salvation Army. Number 5. Hanumandoka Palace Treasure while it's easy to focus on the many accidental discoveries made across the United States and the Western world, some of the most valuable treasures have come from elsewhere. Case in point, the unexpected findings at Nepal's Hanumandoka Palace. In 2011, a group of workers tasked with renovating the former royal palace discovered a massive stash of gold and silver ornaments hidden in a storeroom. Experts claimed that the decorations, stored in three boxes, appeared to be offerings to the gods and goddesses. The hull weighed over 661 pounds, and the contents of just one box were estimated to be worth around 230 $33,334 on the local markets. May I remind you that this is only one of three? That's a lot of money buried beneath a former royal palace. Whoever gets to take a look under the Disney castle in 2150 is gonna be loaded. Renovation work can often transform a lackluster or otherwise little-valued property into a highly profitable commodity, but this is on a whole other level. I don't know which gods or goddesses were getting these as an offering, but clearly they're pretty high-class expensive of people. Number 4. Sunken Egyptian City Pop quiz, how many sunken ancient Egyptian cities can you name? If the answer is anything more than zero, you've beaten my high score. While there are probably many, we're focusing on Herakleion, an ancient city that can be found on the ocean's floor. Herakleion is apparently a pretty important location in Egypt's history, having been mentioned by ancient Greek historians who chronicled the area and its long past. Yet it wasn't actually discovered until 1933. Here, where they believe the temple should be, they discover a large monolith. When an RAF commander flying over the bay saw what he suspected were ruins under the water. Decades later in 1995, the ruins were finally explored by a French underwater archaeologist who confirmed their authenticity. This was an ancient Egyptian city, dating all the way back to the 6th century BC. Despite his best efforts, the archaeologist was only able to explore around 5% of the city area. So if anybody wants to go and finish the job, feel free. It's unlikely that the RAF commander ever truly understood what it was that he helped discover. But thanks to him, the history of Egypt has been chronicled in even greater depths. Some people accidentally find comics or radiation but this guy discovered an entire city underwater. You know what that means? There's still a chance you could stumble upon Atlantis. Come on, guys. Let's go to the beach. Number 3. Whale Vomit Really playing it fast and loose with the word amazing, right? Well, before you decide this is too gross and wander off to finish leftover pizza you have, just wait a second, because this disgusting whale vomit turned out to be pretty valuable. Valuable to the tune of half a million dollars. No, seriously. While walking along a beach, a Thai barman discovered the unusual yellow lump and decided, for whatever reason, to pick it up and show his friends. Of course, his friends were experts and immediately recognized the big old lump of puke as ambergris, a secretion from a sperm whale's intestines. Ambergris is a highly valuable commodity often used in the production of luxury, expensive perfume and fragrances, meaning that it brings in a lot of moolah. 
Experts estimated that the gross stuff could fetch anywhere up to $500,000, which is insane. It's puke. The barman later told the press that he considers the whale vomit his lucky lottery ticket, which is a sentence I never expected to read. His plan was to sell the vomit and retire on the profits. I don't know if he ever did that, but I hope so. I made my fortune picking up whale vomit I found on the beach is a hell of a story. Number two, dinosaur footprints. We all know the rumors that surround Scotland and dinosaurs. Nessie herself resides in the Loch Ness and allegedly roams there whenever people happen to look away. Now we may have some proof, assuming you don't ask the scientists to um, verify it. Whether or not it's actually Nessie is another question, but scientists in 2018 discovered dozens of leftover footprints from ancient sauropods on Scotland's Isle of Skye. And, true to form for Scotland, it rains so often that you could easily mistake them for some big pools. The discovery trapped in a boulder. Only these pools have toes, so interesting design, right? Experts also discovered some distinctive three-toed footprints nearby, created by theropods, which were likely the terrifying T-Rex's older cousin. These footprints had apparently been hiding in plain sight for many years, having been discovered entirely by accident. Does that mean the dinosaurs are still with us? Maybe just this one. As a result of the findings, the Isle of Skye has become a popular destination for experts looking to understand more about the dinosaur era. But sadly, Nessie still hasn't revealed herself to the world. So maybe we just have to hope for more rain. Or, I don't know, something? Maybe bagpipes would wake her up. They wake everybody else up. Number 1. Ice Age Fossils when you think of the Ice Age, the Los Angeles subway is probably the farthest place from your mind. And yet, here we are. For some reason, crews tunneling a new Los Angeles subway branch in 2019 discovered over 500 fossils of ancient Ice Age animals. Riddle me that one. Apparently, the area was home to many animals millions of years earlier before the region was taken over by a vast ocean. After making the discovery, the tunneling crews were forced to work alongside expert paleontologists who kept a close eye out for any unearthed fossils plenty of time to find more fossils. By the time they were finished, the team had gathered over 500 fossils, including an almost complete skull of a juvenile mammoth and fossils of camels and horses. Not to mention the incredibly well-preserved remains of bison, not hugely surprising, given that they practically dominated the prehistoric LA Basin. Still an exciting find for a public transport system that even locals find unpleasant. While it's expected that discoveries will be found worldwide, it's still surprising when so many are located in one area. And for that area to be an underground subway tunnel is a whole other level of trippy. How many prehistoric bison bones are you passing on your way to work? Which of these accidental discoveries surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!